Hey everyone, with the Battlefield 6 beta now out, I figured I'd bring you all a PC build that can play Battlefield 6 at 60 FPS on high settings for less than $600. Now before I get into it, I do want to let you know that this build was created with the idea of just running Battlefield and Discord in mind, not streaming, recording, or any other background processes. With that being said, let's get into it. So with this build, all the parts used can be found in the description below. First off, we have the AMD Ryzen 7 3700X. Its core clock speed has a base of 3.6 GHz and has a boosted clock speed of about 4.4 GHz. However, I don't actually recommend boosting or overclocking anything on this build besides the RAM. It has 8 cores with a total of 16 threads. This will be using the AM4 socket and requires 65 watts of TDP. The reason we went with this processor is because with Battlefield, the thread and core count actually matter more than the speeds. This can be found right now on Amazon for $165. I also do want to mention that we will be using the cooler that comes with this CPU. It's the AMD stock cooler. It's one of the better stock coolers. It will be enough to cool the PC. It won't overheat or anything like that. If you want to upgrade the cooler, you can, but this will do just fine. Next is the motherboard. We went with the MSI A520MA Pro Micro ATX motherboard. This motherboard supports two sticks of DDR4 RAM up to 64 gigabytes. It includes a single M.2 slot, four SATA ports, two USB 2.0 headers, and a single 3.2 header. We chose this because it was one of the cheapest ones that met all our part qualifications without going too cheap to where you're buying a bad brand or bad quality board in general. This board has a cheap price right now of $70 on Amazon. With the motherboard now in place, it's time for the RAM. For this, we selected the Silicon Power X Power Turbine. This set of RAM comes with two sticks of 8GB each with a speed of 3200. It has a first word latency of about 10 nanoseconds, and this set of RAM has a price point of $34 right now on Newegg. Now, like always, when it comes to storage, I like to ignore the SATA ports, especially for gaming. So we're going with the Patriot P300 500GB M.2. This can currently be found on Amazon for $34 as well. Now to the part you've all been waiting for, the GPU. For this build, we went with the Sparkle ROC OC Arc A750 8GB card. Now I know what you're thinking, wait, what, Intel? So let me explain it to you. The recommended GPU for Battlefield 6 is the 3060 Ti. However, that can hit upwards of 90 FPS. This build is meant to hit 60 FPS, so we could actually go down to the 3060. But Intel is kind of like a hidden gem when it comes to GPUs. The A750 is actually a lot cheaper than the 3060 and performs about 5% better. Like in the name, it has 8GB of VRAM as well as a core clock speed of 2050MHz. It has a boosted clock speed of 2200MHz and this card includes 3 display ports and 1 HDMI port. To power it, it has two 8-pin connectors and can be found right now on Memory C for $187. To power this build, we went with the Apivia Prestige 600W. Like all our builds here, we don't want to dip down into the bronze territory, so this is a gold rated PSU. The power supply also provides double the wattage we actually need for the computer, so there's room to upgrade as well. This can be found on Amazon right now for $62. Finally our case. We decided to go for the Cooler Master Q300L. This case is a small mini tower that's within our budget and provides good airflow through the front of the case. It also has RGB lighting because uh, RGB equals performance. This can be found right now on Amazon for a cheap $40. Anyways guys, that should do it for our budget Battlefield build. If you found this informational or it helped you at all, let me know down in the comments. I know posting on the channel has been a little lacking lately, and I'm going to be trying to push out more content, so be ready. Thanks again, and enjoy Battlefield 6.